हेलो फ्रेंड्स हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस वन मोर एक्सागनल प्रमिट सेक्शन ऑफ सॉलिड इन दी प्रीवियस एक्सागनल प्रमिट वेयर सेक्शन प्लेन इज इंक्लाइन टू वीपी इज डिस्कस्ड दिस इज सेक्शन प्लेन इंक्लाइन टू एचपी इफ यू विश टू सी दैट वीडियो चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स फॉर अ लिंक रीड द क्वेश्चन नाउ एक्सागनल प्रमिट side of base 25 mm and height 70 mm as the hexagonal end on vp in the previous question it is rest on hp with two of its edges perpendicular to hp a section plane perpendicular to vp and inclined at 30 degree to hp cuts the pyramid at a point 8 mm from the axis and above it draw the sectional top view and the true shape of section Now, whenever you read the question, first step you have to identify what is the top and front view of a solid. Here, solid is on VP, on the vertical plane as per first angle of projection. The front view will be projected on the vertical plane. So the base hexagon must be the front view. Base hexagon must be the front view and uh, triangle which will be the top view of this question. What about the position of hexagon in the front view? Read the next sentence with two of its edges perpendicular to HP. Two sides of hexagon must be perpendicular to HP while drawing the hexagon in the front view. You can see these two sides, which is exactly perpendicular to XY, are perpendicular to HP. So we can complete the sides of hexagon as twenty-five and give annotations as A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, and F dash. always you know that being a pyramid you can clearly see all the slant edges o as a as o as b as o as c as o as d as o as e as o as to f as and make sure that it must be a thin lines you have to start always your simple position in thin lines then after completing the section plane you can convert the remaining portion of solid into thick lines now this is the front view of this solid and extend the projectors from all the corners the height or uh, axis side it is 70 mm we are having these slant edges exactly on the axis so we can draw it as continuous thick lines complete your top view as we are all know that from the top f dash e dash d dash which means f e d will be visible a b c is invisible from the top so a b c must be inside the bracket okay now the simple portion is completed check the section plane condition section plane perpendicular to v p inclined at 30 degree to h p cuts the pyramid at a point 8 mm from the axis above it So you take this word as apex or vertex point as an axis point, eight mm above it. So from this word as you have to take eight mm, draw an eight mm distance and fix the section plane traveling point, which is an inclination of thirty degree. This thirty degree inclined line must travel through eight mm above from word as apex or vertex. Now you can convert this as a section plane. Now this is the remaining portion of the solid. Remaining portion of the solid must be converted into thick lines. Convert all the slant edges. The remaining portion of the slant edges into thick lines. So now this front view is completed. Identify the section plane cutting points. This is point number one. One dash. If you extend the projector, it is exactly on x y. This is f dash. A dash f dash is cutted at this point. This is a f. If you extend the projector, this is point number one. Next one is o dash f dash projector. Sorry, slantage. O dash f dash slantage. If you extend the, this is point number two dash. And if you extend the perpendicular vertical projector. This is O dash F dash slantage on O F corresponding O F slantage in the top view. If you extend a vertical projector, it is meeting at this point. Make it as two. Next one is O dash E dash. O dash E dash. Being O dash E dash is perpendicular to X Y, we have to shift this point 
to the slant edge which is not perpendicular to xy so i preferred this o dash c dash so take o dash as center this third cutting point 3 dash as radius remember o dash as center 3 dash as radius draw an arc to cut o dash c dash slant edge which is not perpendicular to xy and give a new notation as p dash extend a vertical projector from this midpoint or cutting point corresponding slant edge is oc in the top view here it is o dash c dash corresponding slant edge oc in the top view extend a vertical projector and make it as point p now we have to shift this to oe oe slant edge draw a parallel line to xy it is cutting at this point of oe projectors sorry not a projector oe slant edge on this oe slant edge we can fix point 3 what about 4 dash this is the section plane cutting point fourth point make it as 4 dash draw a vertical projector this is d dash e dash side of hexagon that is d and d this d and e is here this is the meeting point make it as 4 now you can join all this 1, 2, 3, 4 section plane cutting points. 1, 2, 3, 4 in the top view. After completing it, what about this OCD, which means OC and OD? You can refer it in the front view. O dash, C dash is visible. O dash, D dash is vis not visible. Not only visible, it is the remaining portion of the solid must be converted into thick lines oc od is the remaining portion of the solid must be converted into thick lines now do a hatching before that you have to verify one more thing like slant edges all the slant edges what about o dash to 3 dash if you check o dash to 3 dash and o dash to 2 dash is the remaining portion of the solid o2 is already joined what about o dash to 3 dash remaining portion of the solid now we have to convert this o2 3 as a continuous thick line okay and if you refer o dash to e dash o dash to 3 dash is remaining portion 3 dash to e dash is the removed portion till we are having on the same vertical projector O dash B dash is as the remaining portion of the solid but invisible from the top view. If you see from the top this O dash B dash is invisible. So we have to convert this 3 to B as a hidden lines. Don't forget, don't leave 3 to B as it is as a continuous thin line. I repeat this 3 dash to E dash is the removed portion till on the same projector we are having o dash b dash which is the remaining portion of the solid if you see from the top o dash b dash is invisible it must be converted this 3 to b must be converted into continuous hidden lines now you can do a hatching do a hatching as you know how to do the hatching uh, continuous thin lines and do uh, follow the uniform space between the lines so this is the sectional top view now for true shape of section draw a per parallel plane of projection x1 y1 parallel to this section plane and draw an perpendicular projectors 90 degree if you measure this inclination 90 degree perpendicular projectors measure the distance of 1 2 3 4 this 1 2 3 4 must be reproduced on this perpendicular projectors what about 1 which is exactly on x y so on x1 y1 on one dash projector we are going to have one one this is one one what about two from x y you measure the distance of two so this is two dash projector and identify where is two one similarly three this is point three you ex measure the distance from x y on the three dash projector you convert the same distance as three one four dash four is exactly on x y so on x1 y1 we can fix 4 1 join 1 1 2 1 3 1 and finally 3 1 2 4 1 do a hatching and while doing a hatching make sure that at least it must be an uniform space between the 
continuous thin lines and this is our sectional top view and this is our true shape of a section so i hope uh, you understood this problem uh, clearly still if you have any queries or any doubts put it in the comment box i am ready to clarify your doubts friends if you like this explanation click the like button and share the same with your fellow friends